Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a somewhat sad video for you guys because yesterday marked the 30th anniversary of the passing of the late, great, legendary Freddie Mercury. Now, of course, we all know at this point he is the original and main frontman of Queen. And I'm really sad that it's been 30 years. Like, he died exactly... 10 years and one month to the day before I was born on the 24th of November 1991 with me being born on the 24th of December 2001 so I'm very sad to realize that this is the 30th anniversary of his death like I didn't realize until today because it is the actual anniversary at the time of recording that it was the actual anniversary like it, it slipped my mind somehow and I'm just really sad because I have watched a fair few of Queen's performances under Freddy, and wow, he was an absolute master performer. Like, I can think of three big ones off the top of the bat, off the top of my head. Wembley 1986, off the Kind of Magic Saw, iconic performance. Of course, having that iconic yellow leather military jacket, which kind of uh, defined his look forever. Live Aid, of course, and another uh, performance off that kind of magic tour, Hungary. Like, those two were definitely the most iconic off that tour. And these, all three of these performances were, were within a year of each other, with Live Aid being summer of 85, and the Hungary and Wembley shows taking place summer of 86. In fact, the Wembley show taking, the, taking place in the same place as Live Aid, in Wembley Stadium. And, yeah, like, if you get to watch any of these performances, they occasionally show a, lo a load of Queen performances on Sky Arts in the UK. And there is a there is a channel called Live Aid, which is slowly uploading all the performances from the entirety of the events. And it is run by Bob Geldof, I believe, so it's all legit, it's all official. And only last year, they uploaded Queen. Like, there were six songs performed that day by Queen, in only 20 minutes, a shortened version of Bohemian Rhapsody, Radio Gaga, Crazy Little Thing Called Love, uh, Hammer's Fall, We're the Champions, We Will Rock You. I think that's it. But yeah, like, honestly, Queen is just legendary. Every single album they did had a hit song on it. Every single one. I'll admit, some of them have slightly faded in into obscurity, especially the earliest albums like Queen 1 and Queen 2. Well, Queen 1 mainly because they didn't hit it big until Queen 2, later in 73, but which is unfortunate, but Keep Yourself Alive is still an amazing song. Like, I think it was their first ever song, so coming in strong there, Queen, but yeah. I'm just really sad that it's been 30 years since this marvel, marvel of a man passed away. I so wish I could have seen him perform live in person as he was performing. Like, I would kill to see that because from what i've seen from old concerts he, he it's as if performing was in his blood and i just gotta say i i would love to see him i would have loved to have seen him and i just can't believe he's actually been gone for so long there have of course been tributes well there was a massive tribute concert a few months after he died in 1992 which had a whole host of performers performing his songs with Queen, which was really cool to see. Like, one of the most famous being George Michael's Somebody to Love. And I've got to say, a lot of these performances were amazing. That is another concert I definitely recommend checking out, if you can, because it is on YouTube somewhere. So if you get a chance to watch it, I definitely will, because a lot of artists performed that night, and they did a lot of justice to all those songs, but no one can ever do it like Freddie did. Ever. Um, anyway, guys, I just want to say, rest in peace to you, Freddy. I hope you're having a good time up there. You were always a champion and always will be. Goodbye. 